All right, folks, let's continue with our Chapter 6 discussions, and today we're going to start our thoughts on concentration, and we're going to move quickly into the one concentration unit we use the most in chemistry, which is molarity. First, let's just think concentration in terms of concepts you've been doing since you were a kid. For instance, most of us had some sort of drink mix, like Kool-Aid as a kid, and if you were like me and there were a thousand kids in your neighborhood that always seemed to end up at your house parched, uh, your mom might have added a little bit of Kool-Aid to the water. And what was supposed to be red Kool-Aid kind of looked like that. And it was pink Kool-Aid. We knew we were getting robbed. We did not have enough drink mix per unit volume in our drink whatsoever. If we were going to make it, we obviously would keep going, maybe further maybe further, maybe further, and just keep going. And if we were, you know, mom would look in and we made it, not only would it be red as it properly should be, it would not even get to that point where we call a solution saturated because no more of that solute of that drink mix can possibly dissolve in that much solvent at that temperature. And any extra you put in there just keeps collecting at the bottom. So if you watch down there on the bottom, you'll see this simulates that pretty darn well. Now, mom catches you doing that. She's going to come in. She's going to grab the water spigot, and she's going to add more water. She's going to get all that redissolved, and she's probably going to fill the entire container up and get it dilute as possible. So words like concentration, how much of the stuff is dissolved per unit volume, the words of concentrated versus dilute. So... I'll let some of that out there. So if you watch the little concentration, this super secret ninja concentration meter I have here, which is fantastic, not a thing. Um, if you could add more drink mix, you're going to see the number of moles of drink mix per liter of solution is going to just keep going up. And we're going to be calculating numbers like this soon. If I add water, then I'm not changing the number of moles of drink mix. It's the same number of moles of drink mix dissolved in a higher volume, so you'll see the concentration go down further and further and further as I add more solvent. So here the solute is the drink mix. The solvent is water. And the solution, again, thinking concentrated versus dilute. Uh, another interesting thing about this little app here is the, the simulation within the app is that I can use evaporation. So if I make the water evaporate away, I'm not just dumping it out of the container. I'm removing liquid water by allowing it to go into the gas state and leave. So you left your Kool-Aid outside during a hot summer day and you come back to it many hours later. Some of the water has evaporated away. Notice the color is going to get darker and darker because it is getting more concentrated, which you can see if you read the little meter there. And it would get us all the way back down to where we started before we got busted and mom diluted it. Looking at a slightly different simulation here, but the same idea, we've got a beaker with some water in it. We're going to look at our actual solution values this time. I actually have some numbers thrown in there because that's what we do, right? We're chemists. All right, instead of drink mix, let's get a little more serious compound. So we're going to use an ionic compound. Let's choose pretty green nickel chloride, nickel 2 chloride. And at this point, if you look at the far left slider, there's no solute in it. So there's no uh, nickel chloride in there. And therefore, if you look all, all the way over on the right at the molarity concentration, so the molarity is number of moles of solute per liter of solution. So there's none in there, so it's sitting at zero. So let's just simply start adding the number of moles and going up and up and up. And you're going to see the, okay, nickel two cations are green in solution. That's why it's using green. So the more we add, that color is going to get darker and darker and darker. And we're going to get a more and more concentrated solution. So this is only going to allow us to go up to one mole. So we can get in a half a liter, we can get up to, well, it's not exactly half a liter. There, right, close as I can get. So right at around two molar. So there's one mole in a half a liter. So one mole divided by 
0.5 is going to get you the 2 molar, which, you know, pretty close, 1.996 molar. Well, if we allow it to evaporate out and drop that number back down, say, to 0.25, which would be half of that, it was 2 molar at a half a liter, so what would it be at 0.25? It should be twice as concentrated, right? It's the same amount of solute, the nickel chloride, but now that's held in half the volume. So 1 mole divided by 0.25 liters is going to give you right at 4 molar. All right, so again, concepts and words we need before we just go jumping into the math. If you're going to make a solution, you're going to have a solute here. That's nickel chloride. You're going to have a solvent. For us, that is normally water. So the solute is whatever you're dissolving in the solvent. The solution is the combination of those two. The concentration is a measure of how much solute per unit volume of the solution, and the unit we are going to use the most is molarity, which is moles per liter. So next step is we're going to be jumping into that math. Before I leave this though, look down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and you'll see the PHET, FET, is the name of this app that you can go download. It's from University of Colorado. It is NSF funded. It should be free to you whether you look at it online and just search PHET simulations or whether or not you go to the app store and download it. And it does all sorts of concepts in chemistry and they're actually really good visuals and things you can play with and helps things really solidify a little bit more in your head.